member of the collective Schijnheilen, which is uh, currently uh, located in a building around the corner here. Mm -hmm. okay. Schijnheilen is, a, is a, uh, a cultural center and we operate out of squats. We've uh, squatted six buildings before and we continue to open up spaces that are basically rotting away and to open them up for cultural initiatives, for living spaces, for uh, well, organizations that don't have enough money, don't have enough space to organize their stuff on other, uh, in other venues. Why you choose that way? Well, first of all, because increasingly so in the Netherlands now, uh, being culturally active, living or just being a, 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 a human inside the borders of the Dutch uh, famous nation state is being equaled with money. It's being equaled with, do you have property? Do you have a job? Do you have enough money? And we don't want to cooperate with that. We want to say, no, listen, if you leave it to just the right to property, if you leave it to definitions of ownership and money, then the buildings, that, the area where we are now, will just be a commercial center where no people with normal uh, uh, salaries, no people with normal ways of living are able to enjoy themselves or able to house themselves or able to be active. And we want to say, no, let's, it's, it's very possible to think differently about space, not just define it as, a, as, a, as an object to be sold or to be traded, but to see it as an object that is well basically to be used that is basically to be used for the people that are uh, that are here regardless of whether you are a Dutch citizen regardless of whether you are you know wealthy regardless of whether you know how to speak the language of uh, the culture industry or whatever we think um, space should be used and that's why we think squatting is such an excellent way to basically claim space and say we're gonna give it back to the people that are actually needing it instead of the people that are just thinking about ways to make money well right now today that's a demonstration uh, next Tuesday uh, the squatting ban will have its next uh, episode and they're evicting a lot of squats next Tuesday. Among, uh, among these squats that are, that are to be evicted is the squat Schijnheilig uh, uh, that we're really close to now. And Schijnheilig is a really good example of how this law is, is completely rotten because what they do is we have a lot of support. Schijnheilig is being supported by a lot of uh, people from Amsterdam. We are offering a lot of space to a lot of people. Even the regional politicians are uh, thinking that we should, we should uh, remain in, the, in that place. But what's happening is we're being evicted because the owner, who doesn't have any plans with the building, is afraid that the value will go down. So we are being evicted and there will be nothing put into that space. It'll just remain empty. And this is an excellent illustration to what's going to happen with a city if you just define it as uh, property, if you just define it as a financial object. That's what's going to happen. It's going to be empty because it's actually cheaper in the city to have your spaces be empty and wait until the housing market finally recovers than to have it be used by Amsterdam people, by people that from wherever they want to use the space. That's actually, you know, it's cheaper to have buildings rot away than to use them. And that's fundamentally wrong. What do you mean, you wing? Um... Well, if you see that, if you see just the demonstration today, there's a lot of people, and if you see the demonstration that are, for instance, protesting the cultural uh, uh, policies in the Netherlands, if you see the protesting protesters that are actively protesting the healthcare budget cuts, people are being fucked all over uh, this society, on not only on the on the level of housing, but on the level of culture, on the level of uh, medicine, on the level of uh, illegal immigration, for instance. People, an increasing number of people, is being is becoming angry. And what we are doing, actually, by just being here, by protesting, by opening up spaces and claim them as autonomous spaces, is we are offering a space for all these people. And their numbers are growing. And their people that are actively want to change things are actively growing. So all we need to do is we need to stay active. We need to open up our spaces. And we need to say to all the people that are increasingly becoming angry, help us, and we'll, ch and we'll change this rotten situation. Yeah. So our think? numbers are increasing. What we had in Schoenheilig a couple of weeks back was the Queeristan uh, event, which is an event related around the uh, notion of queer, people who don't feel at ease in current uh, 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 gender patterns, right? You have male or female and you're supposed to act like that, and otherwise people say you're crazy or you're queer. Now this, this group of people is actively trying to change that, right? They want to think outside of boundaries, they want to think outside of what is perceived as to be common sense. Now it's very difficult to find spaces, it's very difficult to find money if you, what, what you're doing is perceived as illogical, if what you're doing is perceived as, you know, not normal. And what we do is we're opening our doors and saying, come, bring your event to us. Experiment, show how different ways of interacting with gender is possible. We have had a very, very interesting combination of struggles there. They need autonomous space, they need the experimentation, they need the political struggle to say, what is illogical, what is perceived as, you know, contrary to common sense, is what is most important now to insist on. And that's what's happening all over now. What we're saying is it's important not to be logical, it's important to resist the common sense idea that we all should be consumers, that we all should be you know, uh, rich uh, 
hard-working, law-abiding, white Dutch citizens. That's the common sense now, and that's what we need to be fighting. And the people that are active in the queer movement are fighting that. The people that are active in the squatters movement are fighting that. The people that are active in the healthcare movement that say, no, we want a human treatment for people, regardless of whether they're illegal immigrants, regardless of whether they can afford it or not. They, they, those people are fighting common sense as well. So it's a fight against common sense, and the more and more people are thinking, it's not us that's crazy, it's the situation that's crazy. That's why I think we're winning. And what connects us, I think, what connects all these different struggles in society, is the increasing idea that what people call common sense is not common sense, it's ideology, it's politics. Right? When we are being defined as people that should be... Uh, when, when, people, when you say, art is a leftist hobby, right? the current government is saying, if you have a psychosis, you should just work it out yourself, because it's too expensive to, you know, to cover. And when you say, well, if you want to have a, a, a living space, you should sign an anti-squad contract. That's increasingly being forced upon us to say, well, that's the common sense way to do it. People increasingly are realizing, no, no, that's not common sense, that's ideology. And that could be a united, unifying factor. People saying, no, we should resist this common sense. We should really open up this debate again and say, no, fuck that. It's politics, it's ideology, and it's not common sense. And that's really what defines us. The queer movement, the healthcare movement, the squatting movement. All, what we all do is saying, all right, if illogical is what we are, then so be it. Bring it on. What we should, what we should say, for instance, with the squatting movement, uh, with the, between the squatting and the queer movement, we say, all right, what we both are trying to do is we're trying to provide autonomous spaces for people who don't feel at home in this society, who feel increasingly uh, oppressed by this society. Let's do that together. Let's make spaces in which we do that. Right? The same with demonstrations right here. What we can do is we can say, listen, we are trying to find ways to break open common sense, to break it down, to say. This common sense is failing. This is ideology and it's in a marginalizing and discriminating an increasing amount of people. Let's stop it. And in just that, say, all right, I'm a squatter. I'm against the liber liberalization of the housing market. I'm against common sense. I'm queer. You're I'm crazy. against the I'm, I'm crazy housing market. Yeah, they'll, they'll have a person saying like this, saying, you're crazy. And what we should be doing is we should be saying, I'm proud of being crazy. Yes. Fuck your common sense. But what will happen with Schneider now is uh, they're going to try to evict us uh, in two days. They're going to try to show up in the morning and you know, try to enforce their common sense upon us. We've invited as many people to say, sorry, we beg okay. to differ. Yeah. And uh, well, what we're basically going to do is, if we lose this uh, uh, upcoming uh, confrontation on Tuesday, then what we're going to do is we're going to continue. We'll have spaces. There's space enough. 